Correct, Dustin. Uh, this was your 11th trip to East Lake this this week, and you've been chasing this trophy for a long time. And you know how satisfying is it to to finally get it done? Yeah, it's definitely very satisfying to you know be the FedEx Cup champion. Yeah, you know, obviously coming in here, I was in I was in first with a two shot lead, and I needed all all those strokes that I could get. Um, you know, it's a tough golf course. But you know, I feel like I, I played pretty solid all week. Obviously, yesterday was a great round, and then obviously today was, you know, I, I played, got off to a great start, and then you know, I played really well coming down the stretch. But um, yeah, it was a tough day, tough golf course, and I'm definitely excited it's over, and that I can celebrate a little bit now instead of it was a grind out there. And uh, but I'm I'm very proud to be the FedEx Cup champion. All right, uh, first question is going to be from Sean Martin, PJTour.com. <laughs> What were the clubs you hit the approaches on 14 through 16, and which did you view as just kind of the most important shot? Um, 14, I hit a five iron. 15, I hit a five iron. 16 was a sand wedge. 17 was a sand wedge. And 18 was a four iron. Uh, but probably the, I mean, 15 was, was a really good, really good shot. I mean, obviously, it's a difficult hole. I was, I think I was playing 234 or something like that. I'm not real sure. Um, I just knew it was 205 front. Um, and yeah, I mean, that, that was probably a good one. I mean, I hit really good shot on 14 too. But the probably the best shot I hit out of all of them was the sandwich out the bunker on 16. And what was the level of concern with your game leaving here last year? And how does it feel to go from Finishing last year, last year to now winning this year. Um, I don't even remember what happened last year. So <laughs> that was a long time ago. It was. I was playing a little better coming in this 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 time around. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next one. We'll hear from Doug Ferguson with the Associated Press. Hey, Doug. Two things, Dustin. Uh, congratulations, by the way. Um, were, were you nervous today? I was nervous. I always get nervous because okay. it, it means something. And, yeah, I mean, it, it was, you know, I get nervous on the first hole. It's kind of settled down a little bit. And then, obviously, the back nine, you know, definitely could feel it just because, you know, a lot of really good players around me and, and they were playing well. Um, so I knew I was going to have to shoot a good score on the back nine if I wanted to win. Paul Lazinger said a long time ago that, that only two things would really rattle a player, playing for cash or playing for prestige. Which one meant more to you today? Mm, probably the prestige, um, for sure. Just because, you know, being a FedEx Cup champion is something that, you know, I really wanted to do. And, you know, that's I wanted to hold that trophy at the end of the day. It was something that I wanted to accomplish during my career, and obviously I got one of them. And now I'm a try to get me another. There's a lot of big names on the trophy. Were you kind of annoyed that yours wasn't on it? A little bit, but, you know, like I said yesterday, I think, um, you know, a couple of times there, I didn't really have control of what was going on, you know, just because of my play. But obviously today, you know, I was in control in control of, of winning the trophy or not. Um, whether I, if I played well, I was going to win. If I didn't, I wasn't going to. So. Um, I like that situation a lot better. Thanks. All right, next we'll hear from Rex Hoggard, Golf Channel. Justin, can you talk about how important that putt was on 13 and sort of your emotions when it, you banged it off the back of the cup? Yeah, I mean, obviously I, I, I hit my yeah, – obviously the drive went just in the left rough there. I hit a, I hit a good shot up right where I wanted to, just short right of the green. Um, you know, but it was just, it was one of those, my ball was sitting in the first cut. I thought I was going to catch it clean and didn't, and it came up short. But, yeah, that putt was definitely kind of the, the turning point for me there on the back nine. Um, you know, gave me, obviously gave me the confidence and kind of kept the round going in the right direction. Um, you know, and then I stepped up, hit a really nice drive on 14, hit, hit some good, hit some really quality shots really the rest of the way in. So... Um, that was a big putt. And when you look at what you've done this postseason, you're exactly one shot away from being absolutely perfect, obviously, in the playoff, which you didn't really have much control over in that situation. Can you characterize this run compared to some of the other runs you've had in your career these, these last few weeks? 
Yeah, I felt like the game's in really good form. Um, playing some solid golf and obviously contending every week. And that's, you know, I'm playing probably yeah, some of the best golf I've ever played. But, you know, like I said, there's plenty of room for improvement. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, Bob Herrick with ESPN. Great. Uh, Dust, uh, Dustin, uh, obviously, it's, it's, it's a big amount of money, and I'm sure it's, it, it, uh, it means a lot to you. But I'm just curious if you can think back to a time in your career when, when, a, when there was an amount of money that might have been a lot less that really changed your life, that really might have mattered in terms of whether it was your career or, you know, just whatever, get, you know, paying back sponsors or, or, or anything that you might have, you know, had, where, where that money would have really had a huge impact on you. It might have been a lot less. Yeah, I can. Uh, absolutely. When I when I went through all three stages of Q school and got my tour card and I think they give you like a twenty five thousand dollar check. Um, yeah, I thought I was rich. Because I didn't have a couple hundred bucks in my bank account, probably. So, and then, and then I went to the first term in Hawaii. I think I finished tenth, and I don't know, it was hundred grand or something. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was big, and obviously that was uh, a lot of money to me. Now, you know, obviously I'm very thankful for FedEx and and you know the amount of money they donate for for us to be, you know, whoever's the FedEx Cup champion. Um, but you know, it's not about the money for me. It's more about the the trophy. Was there a time back, you know, say 10, 12 years ago, where you had to get over the idea of thinking how much money a missed putt would cost? Or, I mean, is that an important part to being successful to not think about the money, even though it's a lot? Well, at this stage in my career, I'm fortunate enough where I don't need to think about that. Um, it's more. It's all about you know winning and and the trophies. You know the money's not. I don't, I don't really care about that. I, I want to win. I want to win tournaments, and I want to win trophies. Thank you. You're welcome. Next, Brian Wacker, Golf Digest. <laughs> hey, Dustin. Um, <laughs> sounds like you. Uh, <laughs> sounds like you talked to to Wayne over the weekend. Um, can you just? Uh, Maybe share the insights of that that conversation uh, that you guys had. Um, he was playing golf, yeah. and I asked him how he was playing. He said he was hitting it pretty good, but Janet was yelling at him because he wasn't playing good enough. <laughs> that was about the, the that was about the extent of the conversation. Um, you addressed this a little bit, but. Was this um, was this maybe more important in some ways um, to you, given the you know five strokes, uh, obviously wanting to win the FedEx Cup and so forth? Uh, did it take on any greater significance in that regard to you? I didn't really understand. Sorry. Sorry. Repeat that, Brian. Yeah. Can you repeat the question, please? Sure. Um, was there a, was did you need this win in, in your eyes? Well, yeah, I needed the win. I was, you know, last week I had the lead. Um, you know, going into the final round, played played a really good, solid round. You know, made a great putt to get into the playoff, but ended up losing in the playoff. So, you know, having a five shot lead today, um, you know, some yeah, I needed to finish it off. Um, you know, especially give myself a lot of confidence going into the U.S. Open here and a. What it starts in ten days or something or less. Um, so um, you know, obviously, get a couple of days to celebrate with Paulina and the kids, and then um, got to get back to grinding again. Thanks. All right, next, Brendan Quinn with the Athletic. Two more. <laughs> hey, congrats, DJ. Um, with these last four weeks. Uh, you and AJ seem to have been especially dialed in in your routine on the greens, and I think there might have been a couple of adjustments made in just how you guys are going about things. And I wonder if you could just kind of explain that and, uh, and just what role he really played in this run that, that you've been on here recently. Um, yeah, AJ's a big part of the game. You know, obviously he's my brother. We're a good team. 
you know, he, he reads the greens well and and a lot of times too, I mean, I, I know we're, we're doing well when, you know, because I started using the line at the PGA on the putter when I was putting and um, and so he's been doing the aim point for a while, but um, you know, so I know when I, I line it up and he's we've got it in the same you know the, the same vicinity that we're doing a, we're doing a good job. But he he's done a great job over the last four weeks, four tournaments, and you know I'm, I'm very proud to have my brother on the bag with me. And, and you talk about you know needing this win and things like that, but for, from him being a, a unproven guy out here who had never caddied on the tour all those years ago to to now, um, how much do you think he's kind of validated himself uh, as, as being worthy of being out here and being a, you know, one of the top caddies in the game? Um, I think I think from the first time he came out, he, he was, you know, he played golf growing up. He played basketball, you know, through high school and college, but he was always a decent player. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it didn't take him long to catch on. And, and, you know, he's a very good caddy and, you know, he would do well for anybody, but he's going to be on my back for a long time <laughs> until I quit. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Steve Demaglio, USA Today. Just a quick one, DJ. Have you played Wingfoot? I have not played it. What have you heard about it? If you have heard about it, if you've asked questions about it, um, that it's a it's a very good golf course, difficult but fair. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, last one, Doug Ferguson, Associated Press. How, how would you compare the way you're playing now with, with the spring of 17 when you were blowing through Riv and Mexico and match play and all that? It's uh, it's similar. Um, it's getting there. I think uh, you know, I was playing really good then. Obviously, I'm playing very well now. But like I said, I, I feel like I can play better, though. It's not... Uh, you know, at times I'm firing on all cylinders, but there's times where I'm not. And but you know, it's I'm playing good enough though to where, you know, I can keep it, where I can still have give myself a chance to win. So um, compared to spring of '17, I'm almost there. And kind of along those lines, it's kind of exhausting to get through this this stretch and and have to do all these virtual interviews and stuff like that. I know. Thanks uh, for it, all your questions. I appreciate it. I'm just trying to make sure your mouth still works. <laughs> so, so but, but the fact that the U.S. Open's coming up, the fact that we still have the Masters, are, are you kind of excited now the way that fits into this weird season? I am. I, I you know, it's. Uh, I am excited. Obviously, I'm playing well. I've got a lot of confidence in the game, so I'm really looking forward to the next, you know, obviously a couple months. But then I'm also, after that, I'm looking forward to some time off. Um, you know, it's been a long stretch, but, you know, it, it's it's made it a lot easier playing well, that's for sure. Perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. No more questions. Thanks, Dustin. Congratulations. Thank you.